I'm Jerry. And this is Life is Trail Running. Yes, it is. I bet you wonder why we're sitting here and not out running. Well, we have run in the past three days, three days in a row. However, despite our pleasant demeanor, that groundhog, you better run. Yeah, we don't mm -hmm. believe that groundhog for a minute. Mm -mm. We live in upstate New York. And when we say upstate New York, we mean north of the thruway. Here, it is cold in the winter. It snows a lot. You have very little sunshine. And in the summer, it's ridiculously humid. Why are we living here? I can't answer that. And, and we will have some stats to back up our complaints here um, toward the end of the video. Winter starts here in October usually, the middle to the end of October, and then goes all the way through March, usually halfway into April. That's a lot of winter. Even if we liked the cold weather, the lack of sun is really difficult. So it's already that time of year where, you know, you don't have that many hours of light to begin with. And on top of that, just like today, there's no sun. We it went, was sunny this morning. We went running this morning yeah. and we did the hill thing. And the sun was out for maybe five minutes. Yeah. It was really nice. It was really great. It was kind of cool to see. But. Yeah. It's rare that we get to see the sun. And now it's just gray. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. Every day is gray. We're going to insert some footage here from yesterday, the run. Uh, he had the camera most of the time. I didn't, so you're going to see him more than me. Yeah, too bad. Enjoy the footage. Yeah. Well, here we are, standing in front of a giant snowbank, ready to go out and freeze again on another snowy run. Yay? I'm really sick of the snow. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna go have fun and go run. Let's go run. <laughs> Now let's get down to the deets. <laughs> the interesting, juicy details of what we're talking about. I thought deets sounded yeah, pretty cool. For those of us with a little bit of gray hair, that means details. <laughs> so Syracuse, New York, which we live 45 minutes east of Syracuse, they were ranked in 2018 and 2019 as the second snowiest city in the US. Mm -hmm. And they get way less than we they do. They get less than we do. But they're a city. And we're just... Nothing? Rural. Oh, we're nothing. We're nothing, miss. Rome averages 102 inches of snow per year. The U.S. is 26 for the average. And I've seen things about, oh, like this place gets a lot of snow, but they're usually in elevated mountainous areas. They get a lot of snow. That's understandable. We're not in a mountainous region. 
we don't live in the Adirondacks. We're on the border of it. We are in low elevation. I think here we're at like 400 and some feet of elevation. Syracuse is also ranked as the eighth cloudiest city in the U.S. What, what's the stat that we get 159 days of sun per year? The, and the average is 205 days. So we get 50 days less of sun than just the average. That's going to lead us into the comfort index. So <laughs> this is part of the Spearling's comfort index. The comfort index is scored on a scale from zero to a hundred. We are at 41 out of a hundred percent for a comfort index that has everything to do with the fact that during the winter, we will drop as low as negative 20, negative 30, but then in the summer, we'll go up to 95 and 100% humidity. There's no happy medium. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of temperature change for people living here to try to adjust to. I know this sounds like a really grouchy video, and to be honest, we are. I think we deserve it. Yeah, but we deserve it. <laughs> what, what happened this week is on Monday, we got about a foot of snow here, maybe a little more. And then on Thursday... We got another foot of snow, maybe a little more. Which the Thursday one was not expected. Yeah. It was supposed to be like three inches. And then all of a sudden, tonight, we're finding out we're getting another one to three inches. It just never ends, and it kind of got to us. We've been keeping it together for the uh, last couple of months. I can't oh, keep it together anymore. Yeah, but it's starting to lose it. Just once in a while, we feel like we need to vent. And this is our vent video. This is our vent video. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's only fair. Yeah. Because it's not all peaches and puffy clouds. Let's try that again. Because it's not all mean coons and snuggles. Because it's not all ice cream and unicorns. Because it's not all fruit smoothies and almond butter. Are we done? Oh. <laughs> So, now that we've ranted, let's ask you, what do you do to get yourself through the winter blahs? Do you get the winter blahs? Comment below and let us know. Yeah, just let us know. Because I'd love to hear, maybe there's something creative that you do that helps you with your winter blues that would help us with ours. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah, thanks. If you like this video, you can hit the like button below. You could also subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified every time we upload. You can also message us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Life is Trail Running, or email us at Life is Trail Running at gmail.com, or hit us up on those. Oh, yeah, DMs. Run, Run the, the dirt. dirt. You know, this groundhog is foolish. Oh, <laughs>